Thanks for joining me today. I'm Curl Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Sand and Soil Essentials Brush Pack in Corel Painter Essential 6. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to enhance this photograph of an antique bottle. If you look over in the layers palette, I have a few layers that I've created ahead of time, and I'll be working with some of those. Let's go ahead and select the Sand and Soil Essentials Brush category here in the Brush Selector, and we'll start with the first brush up here at the top called Chalky. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer to paint on. Let's select kind of a yellowish tan color like this. We'll do a test stroke down here at the bottom and you'll see that I get this nice chalky soil pattern. I'm gonna hold down Control and Alt and drag my pen to resize my brush. If I use a smaller brush, then I get a finer pattern. If I use a bigger brush, then I get a bigger, broader pattern. So those individual grains of soil get bigger or smaller with my brush size. I can also use very light pressure if I'm using a tablet to put down something light like this, or I can use heavier pressure to lay it down really thick. Let's go ahead and put some inside the bottle. To do that, we're going to click on the rectangular selection tool, and we're gonna to switch to the lasso selection tool. And we'll go ahead and just go right across like this, down the side and around, and we just wanna select the area inside the bottle where we wanna put the soil. Let's go ahead and go back to our brush tool and we'll go ahead and just paint right in that area there. Just make sure it's nice and filled in. And now we have something inside of our bottle. Now we need to do a few more things to this in order to get the glass to go in front of the soil here. But for now, we can just hit Control D to deselect that selection. And we can name this layer. We'll just name it Chalky so we know what it is. And we can create another layer. Let's go ahead and switch to our next brush. This is called Dirt Splat. I'm gonna select kind of an orangish color and make it a darker brown. I'm gonna make a bigger brush and I'm just gonna kind of tap and wiggle around in one spot here in the center. That makes a nice splat of dirt. And you can just tap to splat dirt wherever you want. And then of course you can build up taps upon themselves. And it makes it look like the dirt kind of landed in one big pile and then spread outward. I'm gonna delete that layer and create another new layer. Let's check out the next brush. This is called Dry Mud. We can keep using this same dark brown color. Let's paint a test stroke. We just wanna make these horizontal side-to-side -side strokes kind of like a Z, and that builds up the mud. You can use lighter pressure if you want it to be more cracked, or you can use heavier pressure if you want it to be nice and thick and lumpy like this. You can also make your brush larger if you want that pattern to be thicker, or you can use a smaller brush if you want it to be a bit thinner and finer. So you can get all kinds of different mud with just this one brush. I'm gonna delete that layer and create a new one. Let's switch to the next brush. This is called Fine Sand. Let's select a nice yellowish sandy color like this. We'll go ahead and paint, and you can put in these individual grains of sand that build up here. This is a really nice sand brush. If you use a smaller brush, you'll get smaller grains of sand. If you use a larger brush, you'll get bigger grains of sand. And then of course, you can vary your pen pressure to make it lighter or heavier if you use heavy pressure. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the next brush, and that is Lomi. Let's go ahead and use our lasso selection tool to go ahead and just draw in an area here to put this inside the bottle. Let's go all the way up to here. Switch back to our brush. Now for Lomi, we want kind of a brownish color like this. All we need to do is just paint back and forth to put in this nice Lomi soil texture. Control D to deselect. I'll name that layer Lomi. Let's go ahead and create another new layer. The next brush is Pea Gravel. Let's select kind of a lighter gray color like this. We'll do a test stroke and you can see I get these individual little pebbles that spray out. If I use a larger brush, I get big pebbles. If I use a smaller brush, I get smaller pebbles. And then of course I can use lighter pressure to make them more faint or heavier pressure to make them more thick. Let's select the next brush and that is PD. Let's go ahead and put PD inside the bottle. We have a new layer for PD here, and I'll go ahead and make a selection like this. Go back to my brush, I can hit the keyboard shortcut of B to do that really quickly, and I'll select a brownish color. We'll make it a bit darker so it stands out against that other dirt we put in, and we'll just paint back and forth just to fill this in. We get that nice organic looking soil. Now what we can do is hit Control D to deselect, and we can use a smaller brush just to paint along the edge here if we wanted to have a more natural looking edge. You can even do that down here to blend it in so it's not such a hard edge. 
And if you happen to overpaint and go outside of the bottle, just hit N on your keyboard or switch to the eraser tool and just erase that extra little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and name that PD. Let's create another new layer. Let's select the pebbles brush. We can keep using this dark brown color and we'll go ahead and paint. We can put in this nice pebbly texture that has lots of different colors and values in it. All you really need to do is just kind of use medium pressure just to build it up. If you use heavy pressure, then it's gonna be really thick like this. So you wanna lighten your pressure just a little bit until you start getting something that looks like this. Now, if you use really, really light pressure, you're gonna get very, very fine speckles. So that's pebbles. Let's move on to the next brush and that is sand grain. Let's select a nice light sandy color like this and we'll go ahead and put in some sand grain and it kind of spreads out as if the wind has been blowing it or if it got spilled on a table. You get a really nice effect here with this. If you use lighter pressure, it'll be more faint. If you use heavier pressure, then it'll be more thick. Now, if I jump ahead to my finished example here, you can see that I took the time to add in all of these different layers of dirt and soil. I've also created this layer for aged marks and I just put in some little marks on the glass here to help it look older. I also have a layer for bottle highlight. I just painted this on using an airbrush. You could use digital soft pressure airbrush, select white. Then all you need to do is just go in here and paint in some highlights on the glass. Once you do that, then you can go in and blend. Let's try diffuser one and just kind of paint following the direction of the glass that kind of breaks it up and helps it look a little more antique. But of course you'd want that highlight to be in the correct spot wherever the light source is in the artwork. So in this case, it's in the top left. Then I also created a layer of bottle color that I put on top of the dirt to help the dirt look like it's inside the bottle since this particular bottle is kind of a bluish tint. Then I basically just sampled this bluish color and then painted over the dirt, making sure to stay within this bottle shape here. Then I set the composite method to overlay. That helps it blend in much better with the dirt. And it's as easy as that to take a boring old photograph of an antique bottle and turn it into this creative work of art. If you enjoyed this tutorial, take a quick second to click the like button and make sure to click that subscribe button if you'd like to see more Corel Painter Essentials tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.